Now, on my particular, in my Apple ecosystem, because I have a Mac Mini M1 and a MacBook Pro, I use iCloud uh, to safeguard my data. And so I have enabled uh, syncing of the desktop and documents folder. So that content that I create or um, on my uh, Mac Mini M1 will synchronize to my MacBook Pro and vice versa. That provides uh, certain benefits. But what I found was since I have one terabyte of storage on my Mac Mini M1 and only 256 gigabytes on my MacBook Pro, the folder that contains my video content that I'm uh, editing and creating would often fill up my MacBook Pro and then I'd be on a job site and try to do something and I'm told I don't have any space. And what I did initially to work around that that I thought was really helpful, uh, this folder video edits dot no sync, that's my folder with the uh, content in it. If you, well I added the dot no sync and that's a directive to iCloud to say okay you might be synchronizing uh, the desktop but you're not going to synchronize this one folder. Um, but I found that was problem has been problematic. I didn't find that out in any easy fashion. I found it out very much the hard way. And I'll illustrate. I have a folder here. I called it Goober. It's just for test purposes. And I have two files in it. They're just gameplay. Uh, two gigabyte and a three gigabyte file. So not a terrible terribly large amount of data now if I'd like to archive that I have a external four terabyte drive I can drag and drop that folder on and it will start copying it over and it's a relatively fast uh, drive as external drives with a mechanic with a mechanical drive in it as far as they go um, okay and it's done it's done. If I come into my archive here, I can see there's the there is the Goober folder and everything's there. So let me go ahead and delete that. Now let's say, hey, uh, I'm going to be doing something with that Goober file. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and add some of that content uh, to my YouTube channel. And I don't want this five gigabytes to synchronize over to my MacBook Pro. So I'm going to drop it into my video edits no sync folder. Bingo. No problem. But here's where the problem's now going to occur. Now when I come into the no sync folder and I say, okay, I'm done doing with it whatever I want to do with it. Let me go ahead now and and drag and drop this folder to my archive, boing, this operation can't be completed because one or more of the required items can't be found. Error code negative 43. Now there's a lot of things on the internet that say how to fix that. Restarting the finder, uh, running a disk utility first aid on your drive, uh, rebooting into safe mode and repeating those same things and they all and I even found one document that had like seven or eight ways to resolve it and all of them end up with bang! just have you burning up your time and pounding sand now let's say okay uh, I, I, I don't want to do that anymore let me take my folder out of that no sync folder and put it back on the desktop that's where it was originally let me do that now okay we're gonna drag and drop it Bang! same error code 43 you're jacked up at this point I don't know any way to fix that other than I say okay I'm gonna create a folder called goober on the desktop and uh, take my content uh, the actual files in the folder you can those copy over and but as far as removing that file you can't look at that you still won't even though it's empty 
it has no more files in there, it won't it won't remove. So uh, if you look at it here, you can't remove it. The only way I found to actually delete it once it's there's nothing in it that I'm interested in is I open up a terminal window. Okay. And be very careful here with this. Uh, inside that terminal window, you type in rm minus r. That's rm is remove. That's a the Unix version of a, of a delete command. Um, and Apple is Mac OS is a Unix operating system. It was based on FreeBSD 4.5, I think, back in the day when it first launched. And the R means, the dash R means recursive. It will delete everything from that point on. So please don't grab Mac HD and drag it in there and, and destroy your system. Carefully grab the one folder you want. Okay. Drop it in. And notice it puts the full path in there. Examine it. Don't hit enter or anything. And say, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's the folder I want to release. Uh, that's the full path that I want to remove, you hit enter, and it will remove it. Okay, well that, that got rid of that one file or folder, uh, but the, the greater issue is how to, re, how to resolve this, how to get around it. I can't have this folder uh, synchronized. I don't want it to swell up in size to where it's going to fill up my, my MacBook Pro. Um, but what do I do here at this point? Okay, let me go ahead and just let me go ahead and clear out all the folders here. So I want to have everything nice and visible. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder that's not on my desktop and not in the documents folder. It's a folder that iCloud would not nor that doesn't iCloud doesn't back up. I'm going to create a folder there and then create an alias and put the alias on the desktop that allows me free access to uh, do everything the way I would like to my normal workflow. The alias gets backed up through iCloud, but the alias is in, in bytes, maybe 20 bytes of data for an alias. Um, but all that content does not get backed up because that's what I want. I don't want it to get backed up because it'll get synchronized, not backed up, that's an incorrect word. It won't get synchronized uh, and then end up on my MacBook Pro and fill it up. And so I'm going to go ahead and open up, a, create a, a folder. I'm going to click on go and go to uh, go to folder and if you type in a tilde that goes to your home directory and now I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder I'm going to call it no no sync content okay and it's in this folder that I'll be creating uh, uh, my uh, video edits file uh, that's where I'll be keeping my content in there in fact I'll do that now I'll drag my goober file and drop it in there and notice it says yeah I'm going to move it from iCloud Drive yep yep I don't want goober in iCloud <laughs> I want it outside of iCloud I don't want to synchronize it okay you know what the problem is? I'd like to be able to access that easily from my desktop. So I'm going to click on the no sync content, sync, uh, create an alias. I'm going to drag the alias over. Okay. And I don't like seeing the alias name in there. I'm going to remove that word because that little arrow here you see in the bottom left corner, that means it's an alias. It's pointing to a folder, but this is not the actual folder. Now if I come here and do a, a command I, notice it does show that it is on the home directory users and my name. 
and nose in contact. That's where it's actually located. Okay. And if I open that folder up, there's my video edits. If I open that up, I see my Goober file. If I open that up, hey, there's my content. But it's not synchronizing through iCloud. And that way, whenever I am done with this, and I say, OK, I'm done editing it. Now I would like to uh, uh, save that information. I'm going to drag it and drop it onto the same file with the same name on my Archive 2 folder. I might have missed on, on the placement of it, but it copies it. No more am I getting that error 43. That, and that has bedeviled me for about, a, <laughs> for about the last two years. Um, and as I emphatically uh, emoted, uh, nothing I've seen on the web has helped at resolving that issue. Now there might be, and there are other other reasons for it being a cause uh, for it occurring. But for me, it was caused by trying to prevent certain folders from syncing through iCloud, and using a .no sync works, but with the caveat that it's it's really not fully functional. It's half baked. Um, but this does work. It